actuality, um, it's only a couple of steps that you need to know. Okay. So if you look at the periodic table, that will tell you most of the information that you need to know for this problem. Uh, the first thing I would do is figure out the molecular weight of water. Okay. So how do I do that? Molecular weight of water. Okay. Well, we remember how to calculate the molecular weight, hopefully, right? We add um, two hydrogens, because there's two hydrogens in water. So two times the atomic weight of hydrogen, so eight, two times eight, plus one oxygen there, one times O.
just like for every heap, there's one head, right? Okay. If I had two heaps, how many heads would I have? Two heads. So now all we got to do is take this to figure out the number of moles of oxygen. And in fact, it's going to be the same number, but we got to get our um, units out. Moles, water. Right? Multiply that by our new conversion factor. One mole, water. One mole, Mole water, mole water cancels out, and we got mole oxygen. So it's going to be 0 0.67, and we got to take it to four significant figures. 6, 7, 8, 7 moles oxygen. Okay? So you could write it like that, that would be fine. Or you could put it into scientific notation, which would be 6.7.